Hello and welcome back. So in this episode I want to talk about the standard water that comes with the Amplify Shader Editor. Um, by default it comes in looking like this and so we're just going to open that up and explore what exactly it's doing and uh, tweak it just slightly and then in the next video we're going to try to recreate it from scratch. Um, so if you want to get to this scene just open up Amplify Shader Editor, Examples, Official, and Water and double click on the scene. And if you don't have the Amplify Shader Editor, there's a link in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, and you won't be able to follow this tutorial without it. So anyway, um, once you have it, it should be installed. Once you get into this um, scene, double click on the water sample. And it'll pop this open. Now let's deconstruct this. So let's look at like this ripple right here. Um, we're going to take this point, and that has a screen position. The XYZ is exactly where it is in world space, and then the W is how far it is from the camera. And so we're going to take that XYZ and pass it into a screen depth. And the screen depth essentially finds out what is the next pixel behind this one. And so that's going to find the ground. So we start on the surface of the water, we find the ground, and then we calculate the distance between those two by subtracting the W here. Um, so, so essentially that's all we need to do to figure out the depth of the water. And then we're going to pass that depth into the depth controls and colors section. And essentially um, we're, just, we're taking a dark blue and a bright blue and um, based on how far we are, or based, based on how deep the water is, we're just going to in, interpolate between these. So for the deeper sections we're using the darker blue. Um, then up here we have our blend panning and normals and so essentially when we're in play mode uh, if I go into the scene view and zoom in you can see the water is rippling and that's being controlled by the um, by the panners here so we have texture coordinates and that's essentially the UV coordinates of the water and then we're making those pan at different speeds um, and we're overlaying two different textures and blending between them. Um, so I'll, I'll cover that in more detail in the next video. Um, and then we're getting the screen color here. So we take the screen position, and I'm not exactly sure what these three nodes are doing. Um, I'm going to have to look into that more. Um, but essentially we're just grabbing the, the color behind the water. So right here like we're grabbing the terrain color. And then we're going to mix that with the with the different blues based on how deep the water is. Then that goes into the albedo. And down here we have our foam controls. Basically the depth of the water comes in and we just do some simple math on that to add the foam to the shallow areas. Um, the occlusion node isn't being used but why don't we click on that, make it into a property, and we compile. And uh, just to brighten this up a little bit, I'm going to click on Deep Color, make that a bright blue, change my shallow color to like something a little bit more green, and then we're also going to bring up the occlusion here. And uh, that's mu that's much more um, much more appealing in my opinion. Um, so that's a, that's about it for my overview of the built-in water node system. Um, if that wasn't clear enough, uh, just watch the next video and, and you'll see how we create this from scratch in detail.